Martin, what are you working on? Hey, Abby. Uh, I'm building a new web application for teachers, and it will use Cloud Run. Is there an easy way to get started? Are you using Visual Studio Code? Yes, I am. Perfect. Let me show you how you can use the Cloud Code extension to build a starter app, run it locally, and deploy it to the cloud all within minutes. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, okay, so I created a project here in Cloud Console and uh, created an empty folder on, uh, on my local hard drive. Um, now I'm not sure what to do next. With Cloud Code, you can get a Hello World app up and running fast. Cloud Code has a repository of samples that show best practices for a variety of languages. They're a good starting off point and also a great reference for seeing best practices in action. Uh, is there a language you're interested in starting with? Yeah, uh, let's build a Node.js app. Awesome. First, you'll need to install Cloud Code. Go ahead and click the extensions icon. All right. Uh, yep, I did. Now type in Cloud Code. Cloud Code. Uh, aha, and hit, there it is. Yep, hit, hit that install button. All right, install, installing. All right. Now there are new icons to the left and a cloud code button in your status bar. Uh -huh, yep. Uh, okay, let's get a Hello World Node.js sample going. First, click the cloud code button in the status bar. All right. Then select New Application. Uh, new Application, yep. Cloud Run. Cloud Run Application, yep. And Node.js Cloud Run. Node.js Cloud Run. OK, I'll Hello World 1, sure. I'll put it there. Oh, it's downloading the sample. Great. Oh, awesome. It looks like there's some code here, index.js, and a uh, ah, Docker file here too. That's great because Docker files are sometimes a little hard to write. Yep, these samples can be built with both Docker or build packs. Okay, so Abby, you mentioned earlier that I can run my Cloud Run service locally. How would I do that? Cloud Code comes with a Cloud Run emulator. The emulator emulates the Cloud Run environment locally. To use it, you'll need to have Docker installed first. OK. Uh, let me do a quick search on how to do that. Install Docker Mac. OK. Docker Desktop on Mac. Uh, OK, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll install this. Uh, let's refill our tea and meet back up in a few minutes. Sounds good. All right, I now have Docker installed, and I've also started Docker Desktop, and I can even see a little Docker symbol up here in my toolbar. Awesome, let's try running this locally now. First, let's oh. make sure you're signed in. Click the Cloud Code Cloud Run button. All right. And now click that little login button there. Ah, uh, click here to log in. Yeah. Very good. Uh-huh, something's happening. Oh, look at that. OK, I want to pick this account. Uh, OK, view my data, view and manage compute engine resources. Sure. You are now authenticated with the Google Cloud SDK. Nice. Yay. <laughs> All right, now back in VS Code, mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and click the Cloud Code button at the bottom of the screen again in the status bar. Uh, I seem to have the wrong project here. How do I change project? Oh, yeah, uh, you have to click that little switch button. Oh, this one. Okay, got it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Teacher's aid. Okay. Yes. Ah, teacher's aid. Okay, no Cloud Run services in that project. That sounds about right. Mm hmm. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and click the Cloud Code button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, cloud Code, bottom of the screen. OK, I'm here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and now click Run on Cloud Run Emulator. OK, Run on the Emulator. 
With setting it up, you get the same configuration options you'd see when deploying to the cloud, except you're deploying locally to the emulator. Go ahead and in build settings, let's switch the builder to build packs. That way you'll get hot reloading. All right. This makes, this makes updating uh, Cub super fast. Now pop open uh, the show advanced settings. To best, to best emulate running on Cloud Run, set CPUs to one virtual CPU. Uh, CPU one, okay. All right, now scroll to the bottom and click run. Okay, let's see. Ah, there it is. Run. First time you kick off the emulator can take around five minutes. So go grab a snack to go with that tea. Future runs will be much faster. All right, Abby. Uh, looks like it's done. Uh, let's see. Uh, forward a URL from Service Hello World. Do, do I click this link here? Yep. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's running. Yeah, that there is your sample app running in the emulator. Awesome. That was super easy. Uh, so now that it's running in the emulator, uh, what happens if I make changes to my code? Go ahead and test it out. Um, maybe try updating the main response on line 47 of your index, your index.js file to return a simple message. Oh, right. So right now it's compiling a handlebars template or something, a template, so, and outputting all the HTML from the templates. But I'll replace that. So instead, it will say, hello world. And I save that. Oh, something happened down here. Uh, looks like it just updated. Uh, let me refresh the browser. Huh. Hello world, it updated. Cloud Code supports hot reloading when building Node.js apps with build packs, which makes updates take seconds. If you instead build with a Docker file, a complete rebuild and redeploy will happen, which isn't quite as fast. Uh, that update kicked off after saving because you have watch mode turned on in your run configuration that we just made. It can be turned off at any time if you don't like this feature. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Uh, the Cloud Code's UI is really similar to Cloud Console. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, uh, but uh, I plan on adding Data Store to my Cloud Run service. Uh, can the Cloud Code extension help me with that too? It actually can. Uh, Cloud Code has an integrated GCP API Explorer. Just click the Cloud Code API icon uh, to the left there. Uh, let's see, it says API here. Is this the one? Yep. Okay. Oh. I see lots of Google APIs here. Uh, let's see, databases, databases. Uh, oh, Cloud Data Store API, there it is. Mm -hmm. All right, now if you scroll down a little here. Oh, it looks like, um, okay, from here, you can enable the API with a click and read up on how you can get it working in your project. It looks like data store is enabled by default, which saves you a click here. Now go ahead and install the client library. Uh, ah, install client library. Uh, let's see, not Java, not JS. Ooh, this little play button here. Oh, cool, that runs npm install for the data store library. Now I've got the data store NPM package installed here. And uh, so I have, uh, I can use data store. And then in the teacher's aid project, I had previously set up data store and put some data in. Let me show you. So here I put in the kind course. So these are courses and I put in two courses so far, trigonometry and calculus. All right, now head back to VS Code. There should be a handy documentation link to help you get started with the data store API. Uh, let's see, invoke the API. Ah, documentation. Yep. Let's go in and take a look at that. Okay, so here's some code for the Cloud Data Store Node.js client. Looks good. Uh, install the library. Okay, that happened already. Make this a little bigger. Uh, using the client library. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, it looks like it's 
creating a new entity. That's not what I want to do. I want to read my existing entities, the trigonometry and calculus uh, courses from the database. Let's see, I'll keep scrolling. Error handling, importing, add tasks, delete. Oh, list tasks. That sounds good. I'll click there. All right, good. Here we have some code uh, that shows how to use the data store library. So I guess we need to declare an import uh, require data store at the top of the code. So I'll copy that. Let's see, up here at the near the top of the code. I'll paste those in. Data store, okay, require data store. Then it looks like there's a function called list tasks. It seems to run a query against data store. Okay, that's looking promising. I'll just paste that whole function in uh, here at the top as well. And then I guess this is just a function that isn't called from anywhere. So uh, I'll just, at the beginning of my main here, I'll just call it and it's asynchronous. So I'll put an await there. And it looks like the code, I'm looking at it here, it prints stuff to the console. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't show anything to the user in the browser, but it is prints to the server log, it says tasks, and then it goes over all the tasks in the database and prints them out in the server console. So uh, I'll just hit save again. And uh, the output here yep, says that, should, that it... Uh, that should trigger the hot reloading there. Uh-huh, very nice. I see that. Uh, okay, and off to the server we go. Localhost. We reload this. Very nice. It still says hello world. I haven't broken anything. Uh, now, where can I see my server logs, these console log statements? So go ahead and go back to VS Code. Mm -hmm. And you see that little drop down there that says Cloud Run Run Debug? Click that. Yep and then switch to the detailed view. Oh, detailed, all right. Aha, uh -huh. very nice. Ah, here's tasks. That corresponds to line 27 up here. Very good. And then it should loop over all the tasks and print them out here on line 30, but it doesn't. Seems like, uh, Abby, I have a bug in my code here. Uh, I expect to see the names of my courses, trigonometry and calculus. Is there a way to debug this error? Oh yeah, first go ahead and click that stop button at the top there. Okay, stop. Now, make sure you have debug toggle auto attach set to smarter always. All right, debug toggle auto attach. Ah, it's set to smart already, good. Yep, and this makes, this makes it so that we can uh, attach to the running application for debugging. Uh, now, place a breakpoint at the problem spot. Okay, so I think here on line 26, this is where we read uh, the elements uh, records from the database. So maybe I'll place a breakpoint here on 27 so we can inspect what the tasks variable contains. All right, looks good. So now let's go ahead and click that cloud code status bar again. All right, uh, cloud code, ah, there it is. Yeah. And then click debug on cloud run emulator. Ah, debug, I see it. Yep, now we're gonna debug this locally. Oh, it's uh, switched back to Visual Studio Code. I'm in the debugger here. I see that because it's orange uh, to the status bar. And oh, look, it hit my breakpoint break on 27. So let's see here. Okay, tasks, that's what I wanted to look at. So tasks is an array. Okay, that's good. Ooh, an array of length zero. Hmm, so it's not getting anything from the database. Uh, oh, I think I know why. Here, I'm looking for the task entity in the database and my database doesn't have task entities. They have course entities. So I'll copy that and I will look for course entities. And I won't sort them by created. I will sort them by, because I don't have a created, uh, they have name, however. So I'll sort them by name. Name, there we go. All right, I'm saving. All right, 
So watch mode doesn't work while debugging. So go ahead and to view your bug fix, let's detach our debugger by clicking that little unplug button up there. Okay, unplugging. And hit stop. Stop. Now click that cloud code status bar again. All right. And then let's run Cloud Run Emulator one more time. One more time. All right, it looks like it started running. Uh, I'll hit that localhost URL again. Okay, it says hello world, good, nothing is broken. And now I'll go back and check the server logs. So you said they were in detailed, right? Yep. Let's have a look. Oh, look, name, trigonometry, very nice. And name, calculus, and uh, sorted by name. Woo, awesome, cool, you fixed the bug. Yeah, uh, very nice. Uh, so this little service is looking great. Uh, now, if I want to deploy it to the cloud, do I have to figure out those uh, tricky G cloud? Nope, Cloud Code can do that for you. Just like with running on the emulator, Cloud Code packages deploying to the cloud in a couple clicks. Go ahead and click on that Cloud Code status bar again and select Deploy to Cloud Run. Okay, Cloud Code. Uh, ah, Deploy to Cloud Run. You can see all the service options. Go ahead and keep mm. all the defaults and just click Deploy. Uh, Docker, Docker. Ah, there we go. Deploy, I'm deploying. And it's now building your container image, pushing it to your container registry, and deploying it to Cloud Run Managed. Oh, looks like it's done. Go ahead and click that link. Ah, hello world at run.app. All right, cool. Let's see. Now this is your service running on Cloud Run. Anyone can access it now. Woohoo! Feels great to finally get something running on Cloud Run and not having to type any G Cloud commands. Can you do anything else uh, Cloud Run related with a Cloud Code extension? Yes. Now that you have a Cloud Run service, you can view its details from the Cloud Run Explorer. Let's go ahead and go back to VS Code and click that Cloud Code Cloud Run button. Oh, okay. Yep. And if you there, okay, there we go. There's your service. So if you go ahead and expand that drop down there on your service, here's where you can view quick details about your service, like traffic allocation and its URL. What's even cooler is being able to view the logs of your Cloud Run service from your IDE. Go ahead and hover over your service real quick. Uh, up here? Yep, and now click that little logging button to the right. Uh, ah, yes. I guess this means logging. Oh, view logs, it says as a tool mm -hmm. tip. All right. Okay, so I get to set up filters, what logs I want to view. These look like reasonable defaults. I want to see my Cloud Run logs, and that has been selected here. Yep, um, and I also grabbed it for your service. So these are all the logs from your service. Aha, uh -huh, and look at that. There is my good old friend uh, trigonometry. And there's calculus. It works. Hey, Abby, uh, thanks for showing me how to run and debug my cloud run service locally and how to deploy it with one click. Yeah, the Cloud Code extension makes things pretty simple. Be sure to install the Cloud Code extension from the VS Code Marketplace and give it a try. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. Sounds good. See you next time.